हेलो बच्चों माय नेम इज डॉक्टर वैशाली गई एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस चैनल इज ट्रिक्स बाय केमिस्ट्री में सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस ऑफ चैप्टर 1 क्लास 10th केमिकल रिएक्शंस एंड इक्वेशंस सो लेट अस रीड द क्वेश्चन एंड डिस्कस दिस सो क्वेश्चन इज द राइट केमिकल इक्वेशन रिएक्शंस टेकिंग प्लेस व्हेन कैरीड आउट विद द हेल्प ऑफ आयरन रिएक्ट्स विद द स्टीम सो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट दिस फर्स्ट रिएक्शन दैट आयरन रिएक्ट्स विद द स्टीम let us discuss what will happen in this question so when we talk about the a part we observe that when iron react with steam so iron the symbol is fe when it react with steam that means h2o what does it form it forms fe3o4 that is an iron oxide fe3o4 along with the liberation of hydrogen gas so what will happen basically when iron or any metal reacts with steam it forms metal oxide and hydrogen gas iron here reacts and it comes in plus 2 and plus 3 both the forms so finally what will happen this fe3o4 actually is a combination of feo and fe2o3 that means here iron is present in plus 2 as well as plus 3 form and both these form when react with each other it forms fe3o4 so fe3o4 has been formed now the thing is to balance the equation so if we balance the equation we know that there are three iron atoms here so let me write three iron atom here now if we see that there are four oxygen in this case so if i make four oxygen on water so it becomes 4 into 2 8 hydrogen atom so to make four a uh, eight hydrogen atom i'll just add four out here and this has become the balanced equation so this is about the first part let us move to the second part second part says that what will happen when magnesium react with dilute hcl so magnesium is a metal when this active metal reacts with dilute hcl hcl means an acid hydrochloric acid what does it form so first thing is it forms salt so salt of magnesium chloride will be formed and second is it releases hydrogen gas so this is how the reaction takes place again to balance we'll see that magnesium chloride has two chlorine atoms so if i place two chlorine in front of hcl so the reaction is now balanced so it is very very simple reaction that when magnesium react with hcl it forms mgcl2 and produce hydrogen gas the third case we are having is when copper is heated in air so when we talk about that copper is heated in air we observe that it react with oxygen of air so when we have this copper it react with the oxygen of air and it forms a black compound and what is this black compound this is basically cuo copper oxide so this black color copper oxide has been formed on heating so when we heat this copper it changes into copper oxide let us balance the equation since we have two oxygen this side i'll place two oxygen here also and two car two copper so this is the balanced equation so this is how this question goes on let us move for and now we'll talk about the second question and second question says that write one write one example for each of the decomposition reaction carried out with help of electricity with the help of heat with the help of light so let us discuss first of all this part so this part says that ki we need to write the decomposition reaction when electricity has been passed a very common example of this decomposition reaction when electricity has been passed is h2 dissociates into h2o dissociates into h2 and o2 a very common reaction water undergo electrolysis and we get the separation of h2 and o2 and this takes place in the presence of electric current so we call it as electrolytic decomposition also when we talk about its second part that is heat so heat means we need to decompose any compound on heating let us take an example of calcium carbonate calcium carbonate on heating this triangle is the symbol of heating we get calcium oxide along with the formation of co2 so when the decomposition takes place in the presence of heat we call it as thermal decomposition this is very good example of thermal decomposition 
Similarly, when we talk about light, so light means photochemical decomposition or photolytic decomposition and silver salts generally undergo this decomposition on passing light. So, I have silver chloride and on passing light, the silver chloride dissociates into silver along with chlorine and since chlorine in nature exists as Cl2, so isko abhanne balance kiya, we get 2 Ag Cl this side and thus 2 Ag on right side. So this is how the reaction takes place. Now we'll talk about the second part and second part says that which of the following statement is correct and why copper can displace silver from silver nitrate and silver can displace copper from copper sulfate solution. So, you have to identify which is the correct statement. Hai. First is why copper can displace silver. Why copper can displace silver from silver nitrate solution. Or silver can displace copper from copper sulfate solution. So, here you have to see which metal is reactive. Hai. When we talk about silver and copper, we observe that out of these two from the reactivity series, copper is more reactive. So statement first is correct that copper is able to displace silver from silver nitrate and the formula for silver nitrate is AgNO3. The reason being is copper is more reactive. So it undergoes this reaction and the reaction takes place like this. Copper react with silver nitrate and it forms copper nitrate along with the liberation of silver. So silver get displaced. Whereas the second case silver can displace copper is wrong statement because silver cannot displace copper from copper sulfate solution and the reason being is silver is less reactive than copper. So this is the balanced complete equation and a correct statement that it's only copper which is able to displace from sil uh, silver from silver nitrate and not silver that displaces copper from copper sulfate. So the final statement is copper can displace silver from silver nitrate and thus we can easily find it out. And the next question is which product will be obtained when lead nitrate is heated simply? So when we heat lead nitrate, what will happen? Write balanced chemical equation for the reaction and state the type of chemical reaction. So for this question, the answer is we get lead monoxide, nitrogen dioxide that is NO2 and oxygen gas. These are the products obtained when lead nitrate is heated strongly. So how can we write a balanced chemical equation when lead nitrate is heated simply? So the formula for lead nitrate is PB NO3 whole twice. This is lead nitrate. On heating, what will happen? We will get lead monoxide PBO that reacts with nitrogen dioxide NO2 along with the liberation of oxygen gas that is O2. So this is how the reaction takes place. So here in this case, we can observe that a single reactant, lead nitrate, decomposes on heating into three products, lead oxide, nitrogen dioxide, and oxygen. And thus, this reaction is known as decomposition reaction. Since it takes place on heating, so we call it as thermal decomposition reaction. I hope this question is clear to you all. Let's move further for the next question. And the next question is, write balanced chemical equation for the following reactions. So, bacho, here you have to balanced chemical equation. Likhni hai. Silver bromide on exposure to sunlight decomposes into silver and bromine. So, let us discuss what will happen in this case when we take silver bromide the formula is agbr it decomposes into ag and br since br in nature exists as br2 and thus we need to balance the equation br on this side and now this is the balanced equation so it is very simple first thing is the formula for silver bromide is agbr <coughs> 
when we pass sunlight to it it decomposes into silver and bromine so very first thing is silver and bromine has been formed in this reaction sodium metal reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas so we have sodium metal that react with water so sodium metal react with water to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas now the thing is this is the complete reaction and you are supposed to balance this equation for balancing you'll write 2na out here 2h2o that gives us 2NUH and H2. Now, you see, the equation is completely balanced. We have two sodium this side. We have two sodium this side. And total hydrogen atoms are four in number. Here also, we are having two hydrogen in NUH and two hydrogen in H2. So, this is how we are having total four hydrogen atom, two oxygen atom on left side and two oxygen atom on right side. That means in NUH. So, this is how our question is complete. And let us move to the next question. And the next question is identify the chem type of reaction in the following reaction. And reaction up to given a reaction says CH4 react with 2O2, which gives CO2 plus 2H2. Yeah, our reaction. Hai. So, ye kaun si reaction hai, aapko type hai. So, first thing is, it is a fuel and it reacts with oxygen. So, it is oxidation reaction. Secondly, combustion reaction because here it involves the combustion of methane as a fuel in presence of oxygen or air which re releases large amount of heat. So, it is not only combustion oxidation reaction but also exothermic reaction exothermic means when heat is released so since in this reaction heat has been released and thus this reaction is exothermic reaction also let us move further and talk about the next reaction we have discussed this reaction lead nitrate react with potassium iodide and it forms lead iodide this lead iodide is formed as a precipitate along with KNO3. So, it is double displacement reaction. This is KNO3. It is double displacement reaction because here it involves the exchange of ions. Now, see, lead nitrate tha, potassium iodide tha. Lead chala gaya iodide ke saath aur potassium chala gaya nitrate ke saath. So, it is double displacement because it involves the exchange of ions. Secondly, since it involves the formation of precipitate that is lead iodide and thus it is precipitation reaction also. Let us see the third part. In third part we observe that calcium hydroxide has been formed. A single product has been from, formed from two different compounds. So a single product has been formed. So it is the combination reaction. Two compounds combined together calcium oxide and water. These two compounds combine together and they form calcium hydroxide. So, we call it as calcium hydroxide which is a single compound and thus it is combination reaction. And the last one is we know that it is displacement reaction because zinc which is more reactive metal is able to displace copper from copper sulfate solution. In this case, we observe that the blue color of copper sulfate has been changed into white color zinc sulfate. So, this is displacement reaction because here zinc which is more reactive is able to displace the less reactive matter. So, this is how we can show this reaction or consider this reaction as displacement reaction. So, but you practice with these questions, practice with some other questions. I'll upload one more video about few more questions. So, wish you good luck. And if you like this channel, please press the like button and please subscribe this channel and share with your friends. Thank you.